Okay, so I want to show you all how to transfer stuff uh, as far as files and such back and forth from your personal accounts to our shared team account. Now, unfortunately, uh, Fusion being a specifically team working account or uh, um, program in its in its uh, uh, file saving system, all the cloud storage, all that stuff working on Teams, really great feature. However, you, they have not installed a way to transfer files from one uh, team to another, like your personal stuff to a shared team account or such. The way to do that is you actually have to save your personal fold or your personal project as a local file onto your computer. So download it, export it, save it onto your computer as a, uh, as a Fusion file. Open up or change teams, go over to your projected team, ours, the three, uh, the BSU 3D team, and upload it in. Very circuitous route, but it is fairly straightforward, just fairly irritating, actually. All right. So let me open up my personal one here. Change around, see what kind of dumb stuff I've been working on. Let's see here. Uh, plant hook. Sure, cool. I was making some hangers for uh, some plants around the windows. Okay. So something like this. All right. So what I would need to do is go to file, save as. Let's see here. No, that's not going to let me do it. I've got to be able to do it that way. Okay. I couldn't remember if it was save as or export. All right. So you go to export. And this would be the Autodesk Fusion Archive file, the .f3d and just save it somewhere onto your hard drive on your computer. And this could be just desktop, that's fine. Large plant, plant hook version five. Save that, export. You'll get a pop-up saying it's ready to go. Great. Now, transfer over to your team folder. Brings up. Now go to upload. Select files, or you can drag and drop. We'll go to desktop. It's on desktop. Large plant hook. And you see the uh, little icon for F3D. Open. Select files. There we go. Super good. Upload. Complete. Great. And it'll give you a status thing, and there it is. So close. Now that comes up. However, the folder or the file itself was a version five. This will bring up only the whole thing as a now new complete version. So that is another limitation. You open up the you open up the uh, uh, project. It's still complete as is, but you no longer have those different version iterations. So the way to do this would be work on your personal account, finish your project, all that such. And then when it's done, you can transfer it over or work on our shared team account because I cannot access your personal account if I need to, if, if you're uh, contact me to see about uh, getting some help on a project or so. However, we can dial up a Zoom or a Zoom conference or something, and then you can just share your screen with me, and then I can see what you're doing. Yep. All right. Nope. That. No. Nope, nope. 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 That one. Okay. Yeah. That's unfortunately how that always goes. But uh, so do know that that is another limitation on that is it does remove the other versions of that. But otherwise, that's how you transfer fi uh, files from your personal team or from your personal account to uh, our shared team. All righty, stop that recording.